Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my review of a trilogy. I was asked to be part of a vlog tour by Let's Talk Books. And I'll leave her link down below as well as Casey Ann Books link down below too because she helps out with that vlog tour. I was asked to help review a trilogy for you guys and the trilogy is the True Blue Forever trilogy and it includes True Blue, Royal Blue, and True Blue Forever and these are all by Joyce Scarborough. Overall, I gave the trilogy a 3 out of 5 stars. I will get into it more as I go. Why I give it 3 stars? It's a cute coming of age story and it was really enjoyable. So, if you want to hear my review, then let us get started. The first book in the trilogy is called True Blue. The book follows Gianna, Wade, and Billy Joe, who are all six year olds and they are best friends. They've lived on the same street since they were kids and they swear that they're going to be best friends forever. The summer after fourth grade hits and Wade and Billy Joe start to develop feelings for Gina and this is when things start to get a little rough between them all. Then a new boy named Mickey Royal moves to the street and he causes a little bit of trouble as well. I gave this particular book a 2.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I did think it was a very good coming of age story, but I didn't really like how there was no action in it. Which I understand, like, it's a coming of age story, so there's usually not a lot of action. It's more like a lesson to be learned kind of thing. But personally, I enjoy books with more action in it, so I found it a little bit boring and it seemed to drag on for me. I also didn't find that there was much plot development. It kind of just kept going on the same thing, and I just wanted to see more things unfold in it. But it makes sense once you read the other two books because it's kind of like the backstory of how they grew up and like how each household lives and that kind of thing. So it does make sense why Joyce did it the way she did, but I just wanted more action and plot development. I really liked Gina in this book. I thought she was super cute and she's kind of like your know-it-all. But it was kind of annoying because she's only six, but she's like knew a whole bunch of random things and I was like, mm. Are you really going to know all that when you're six? It spans from, like, years six to ten. So, like, I understand that some people are that smart, but I mean, like, you know the entire solar system really deep, really, and you can name all the constellations and their backstories. Really, girl, really, really. I really liked Wade in this book. I thought he was so cute. I really didn't like Billy Joe. I found him so whiny and immature and, like, like yeah, he's six to ten years old, but, like, ugh, stop. Just every time he opened his mouth, he was whining about Gina and Wade, and it was just like, okay, like, chill, fam, chill. I definitely liked Mickey the best in this book. I thought he was really cute, and I loved the relationship that he had with his dad and his mom. I thought that it was really well done. I did really like the friendship between Gina, Wade, and Billy Joe. I thought it was super cute, and I really liked how you could tell how much they all cared for each other. I found that the writing style in this book was very simplistic compared to the next two books. So you can tell that the writing style really picked up as it went on, but I didn't really like it in this book. The second book in the trilogy is Royal Blue. I gave it this one a 3 out of 5 stars. I liked it a lot more than I liked the first in the trilogy. This book also follows Gina, Wade, and Billy Joe, but they're now sophomores in high school. A lot of things happen in the first book, which I can't really mention because spoilers. But Wade is now kind of a jerk and he isn't friends with Billy Joe and Gina anymore. Gina and Billy Joe are still the best of friends and they're going to remain friends. But Wade kind of turns into this big bully jock guy. Mickey Royal moves back to Chickasaw after a pretty tragic event in his family and that's when he finally gets to meet Gina and they start a relationship together. This causes a feud between Mickey and Wade because Wade is still in love with Gina. So obviously he's not gonna like the guy who Gina is dating. Although I did like this a lot more than True Blue, I had a lot of problems with it still. I did not like the relationship at all. I thought it was very abusive. Like, Gina would be like, oh, I wanna go to the mall, and Mickey would be like, no, you're not going. I don't want you to go. Like, bruh, if you tried to tell me what to do, mm, mm, it would be so over. Mm. I don't need no man. I just, I don't think it was a healthy relationship and I just didn't enjoy it. Which is really upsetting because I loved Mickey in the first book, but in the second book I was just like, oh my god, I want to punch you in the face. Like, what are you doing? Like, you were such a sweet little six-year-old and now, now you're just a jerk and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it, Mickey. Stop it. 
I find it kind of funny because I did a total 360 with my characters and who I liked and who I didn't like. I hated Mickey in this book. I just thought he was so rude and condescending. If he tried to tell me that I wasn't allowed to do something, I would be like, um, <laughs> back up. Thank you. You're just 20 feet that way. That's great. And then I hated Billy Joe in the first book, but I loved him in the second book. I thought he was hilarious. I loved everything that came out of his mouth. Like, I would be sitting there giggling. I just, I would love to have him as a friend. I think he would be super fun to hang out with. The writing style definitely improved a lot in this book. It wasn't as simplistic, and you could tell that the author was really developing as a writer, which I really enjoyed. There's also a little bit more action in this book, which... As we know, I was complaining about it a lot in the first book. If you guys check out my vlogs, I was just like, Ugh. Definitely enjoyed this one a lot more and I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. And the final book in the trilogy is True Blue Forever and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars as well. Although I had so many problems with this book, like so many problems. Gina and Wade and Billy Joe and Mickey are now seniors in high school and they're graduating and all their dreams are coming true and then tragedy hits and things get a little bit interesting. I did really like how much action was in this book. It hit you so fast in like the first 100 pages. You were just sitting there like bam 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 and there's so many events taking place you were like jaw dropped. But relationships, still abusive. Don't like abusive relationships. I don't like reading about them so it wasn't enjoyable for me. Something happened where Gina was extremely overdramatic, which caused something else to happen. I'm being very vague here, if you can't tell. But Gina got super overdramatic, something happened, and basically their entire lives changed. Gina's supposed to be one of the smartest girls in the world. Which, like, cool, good for you. But the things that you do should reflect how smart you're supposed to be. Does that make sense? Like, Some of the decisions she made in this book, it was just didn't make any sense. Like, if you sat down and thought about what you were doing, you could probably tell that it wasn't such a great idea. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but lying to your friends and your parents and your boyfriend, just, it's just not a good idea, girl. It's just not a good idea. As you can tell, I'm being very vague because I don't want to spoil you guys, but just the things that she did in this book, I can't. I did enjoy the story for the most part, except for the, like, little things that frustrated me. Because it's not something I would do, so I couldn't relate to her. But I still didn't like the relationship, still abusive, no, thank you, don't like. The writing style is definitely the best in this book. I found it very easy to read, there was a nice flow to it, so I really enjoyed that compared to the other two books, which were kind of more simplistic. But this one, definitely the best out of the three, in my opinion. But still major problems with it. I still really loved Billy Joe in this book. I thought he was hilarious. He's definitely my favorite character throughout the whole series. You could really tell how much he cared about Gina, which I really appreciated. Because I just, I would love to have a friend that cared that much for me, which like, I mean, I do, but you could just feel the love. You could feel the love. So I liked that. So that was my review of the True Blue trilogy. I ended up giving the entire trilogy a 3 out of 5 stars. It's a very good coming of age story. I think that it's important to read books like this. But it just wasn't my cup of tea because of the abusive relationship and I just really don't like abusive relationships so that always brings my ratings down because I just, I don't like it. If you guys like contemporary I would definitely check them out. They're pretty cute and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.